There is tension in London this morning as there are a number of protesters uh, in in London uh, protesting against uh, the meeting of the G20. These are the most uh, powerful economies in the world. We're looking at a live picture right now. There's been uh, some to and fro. There apparently have been uh, several arrests already. Security is very, very, very tight in London. And we want to check in right now with CBS Evening News anchor Katie Couric, who is uh, live there this morning. Good morning, Katie. Harry, good morning to you. I was looking at those same uh, helicopter shots of the streets filled with protesters. There's been a lot of speculation that thousands of demonstrators were expected to descend upon London during this G20 summit. Many of them experiencing the same populist anger that we've seen in the United States against the banks, that the government isn't doing enough for the poor, against the rising unemployment rate. Many of the problems that are being felt in the United States are obviously being felt here in Great Britain as well and I think you're seeing evidence of that with so many people hitting the streets during the summit. Yeah. Let's uh, talk about uh, President Obama's meeting right now with Medvedev. Uh, U.S. Russian relations have soured over the last couple of years. What specifically is on their agenda and uh, how hopeful is the United States? Well, it looks like those relations are actually improving even as we speak, Harry. The Russian president has said he wants to support President Obama, and the two are reportedly talking about working together on Afghanistan, that Russia might be helpful in dealing with Iran's nuclear ambitions, mm. and also both countries, as you mentioned earlier, want to reduce their nuclear arsenals. So there's also some talk, Harry, that they may set a date for a future summit between these two mm. countries. Mm. The other issue, as this thing has been, you know, sort of coming to, uh, the meeting hasn't even really begun yet, but there has been all this conversation about Germany doesn't want to do this. Sarkozy has talked about maybe even walking out if if the agenda isn't exactly, uh, or, or sort of the conclusions of their meeting aren't to his liking. What are the tensions like leading up to this G20? You know, I spoke with the British fin finance minister, Alastair Darling, about that very thing this morning, Harry, and he said there, of course, there are bound to be differences, but it's very true. There are major philosophical differences between the U.S. and many of the other members of the G20. President Obama is following FDR's New Deal approach by trying to pump more cash into the system. But the Germans and the French worry that putting even more money into their economies could cause prices and inflation to go sky high. And there were some rumblings, Harry, that French President Nicolas Sarkozy uh, wants the G20 to agree on very strict international financial regulations, something that isn't that appealing to the U.S. And he's reportedly threatened to walk mm. out of the summit, but we don't know if that's really true or just a bit of grandstanding on the part of Sarkozy. And finally, the, along with that, there is some pomp and circumstance, and uh, the Obamas are heading to Buckingham Palace? That's right. Yes, they have a meeting with the Queen this afternoon. The Queen has met, I think, 11 U.S. presidents so far, with the exception of LBJ. He was busy with Vietnam. She was busy having babies. But she's met with every president since Harry Truman. And many of them, by the way, have committed a few faux pas <laughs> along the way. The first President Bush apparently sat before Queen Elizabeth, which was a real no-no. But my favorite story was at a state dinner during the Ford administration when the Queen started to dance the the Marine band started playing. That's why the lady is a tramp. So you really have to watch your P's and Q's. But President Obama is apparently very excited about meeting with the Queen. And according to Prime Minister Brown, she's very excited to meet him as well. You had a great piece on the evening news last night about all those meetings with the president. And of course, seeing George Bush 43 winking <laughs> at Queen Elizabeth yes, might have been a highlight yes. as well. Katie, we'll look yeah, forward to seeing. Apparently, she wasn't really digging that. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what she said. I ain't digging. I ain't that. digging that. We will see you tonight on the evening news. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Do appreciate it. Okay. Right. Nice to talk to you guys. Right.